Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. It's Monday, it's April 24th. This will be our chart lesson for the day. And today was just a range type day. Notice how everything traded within the overnight low, and the overnight high here. We had this gap up. I was really surprised that we didn't feel that gap. Generally, those kind of gaps will fill pretty quickly, but we didn't fill it. So, um, and notice that price has never really traded below the overnight high or above the overnight high. We just went sideways. The other thing to notice is notice how prices are consistently above and below the EMA. Uh, we had a little bit of a trend down, uh, a little bit of a trend up. When I came in, this trend up here was ending. Um, <clears throat> and for the, then we trended down just a little bit, and then it was mostly sideways. But overall, this is a range day. And the good thing about today is these channels were very easy to spot. You, you didn't always get a break in a new high or a break in a new low. But um, as an example, coming up, this one was a little bit hard to decipher. We had an overshoot here, though. And notice that's a leg up and then two-legged correction, a second leg. And then we started down. Of course, we're moving down. We didn't really get a closeout. Well, we did get a closeout side and a new low still. Um, it was a little bigger. And, of course, you'd measure that move. But we didn't get anything close to that. We couldn't get back below those overnight lows. So, And then we were working up. We got a break a close outside and we never really got a new high till after we made a new low on this one uh, and then of course we worked up we had a break there moved to a new high and then we're working down now so it pretty much played out without much problem uh, it was a relatively straightforward day uh, as long as you drew these trend lines and found them you might have considered going long right here uh, notice there's a new low, there's a first entry short, and then a second entry short. And there were two legs up. Notice this leg up, the two-legged correction, second leg up. So you really could have gone long right there. It's a first entry. It is a double bottom, a higher double bottom. So there's some reasons to like that trade. Uh, you could almost argue for this one to be blue. If you saw all the other things I'm talking about here, the only uh, problem I had with it was that we had this close outside of course you might have said well hey maybe the channels up here because it does fit but nothing else fits up there so I do believe this was the channel and that in the end we had an overshoot so that's the way I looked at it and if you do if you try a little midline here notice how it fits perfectly So I do believe that I've got the channel right there. And that is the first break. So there's a chance we might shoot to a new high. You're better off to wait on second entry. But notice that turns out to be a little trap, and then it turns down. Uh, at that point, I'd be looking for a measured move similar to this one. Uh, the only reason I didn't make this one blue, let me try to get this a little bigger. is because we were still looking for a possible new high, but we had an overshoot here, and this could be a range day, and you should draw that line off those first two swings, and it continued to hold here for the next couple of bars. So when it broke higher and didn't, and then turned down, you might have considered going short there, um, especially when this bar set up. Uh, your stop would still have to go above this little two-bar matching high here, though, your safety stop. Then you get that second leg down. And you get a failed second entry long right here. And really, I originally had this trend line drawn up here. I don't think that it's it's not wrong, but I think that really the downtrend started here. So I like this one better, the, the little lighter dotted one. And when it came, when you drew it off these lows and pulled it up and it turned down right there on a failed second entry long, right after everything's moved under the EMA there, we should have got a bounce if we were going to, after two legs so when it didn't that looks like a trap to me so I like going short there a uh, quick easy move it comes back again but this looks like a little bit like an overshoot um, it's still bouncing off this 
uh, larger original trend line. So I'm not crazy about it at that point. Um, I don't think you want to go short right into that double bottom. And plus, there's really a triple bottom across there. <clears throat> I hadn't moved my line up. But by that time, you'd want to move that line up. And you can see we bounced there twice. Um, we finally get a little break here, move to a new low, and then it reverses. So, um, but you still got the bigger one. We did get an overshoot here uh, on the bigger, the darker blue channel, I guess you should say. But notice what happens. You're moving up. You pull back. You try to go higher. You get that little trap right there. And notice it went higher and turns. It goes right out the other side. Go short right there. That's a great little trap. It's probably going to be good for at least a scalp. And you may get a new low. And unfortunately, it was just enough to get a scalp, but it still works out. So notice the overshoot, though. First entry short pulls back. There's a second entry short there, but that's not a very good setup at all. Um, you don't want to be taking that. Um, but when it turns lower again and it confirms that trend line work, and this really confirmed it, but I don't like going long there. But when it turns down again and fails and turns up, I like going long there just for to, hoping to get a measured second leg. Like so. You see, we went a little higher than that, and uh, it turns out to be a little, a nice little scalp. Then it pulls back, and you get a second entry long. There's a new high, pull back first entry, pull back second entry. It's not a great setup, uh, but it is the first break of that trend line, and um, and we're bouncing all across these lows here. So I, if, you might have wanted to risk that. Well, I don't really like it. I think you're better off to skip it, but you might have want to risk that to try to get to see if it's going to make a new high. Uh, plus, it does make a higher double bottom here, and this double bottom and this low. So we're making higher lows up through here. Uh, this did push through the EMA pretty easily, though, so that's another reason to be a little concerned about it. But there's reasons to want to go long there, and it fits our rules, so I'll mark it green. Uh, notice we make a double top here, though, and then we make a lower high here. And you get a second entry short. And notice it went higher. This is almost a repeat similar to this last one over here. It tries to go higher, then turns and goes out the other side. You needed to be a little bit concerned about this support resistance here. But really, you, your main support resistance is way down here. You can see we're bouncing more often here. So I like it just to try to get that scalp out of it. Uh, it does push through, come back, and you get another failed second entry long. It's the first break of that channel, and it goes higher, so you get a little failed move higher there. It's a double top, so it's a failed breakout. It turns, it goes right out the other side. I like going short right there. And that turns out to be a fairly nice move right there um, until we get a new low. Notice you make a double bottom. You push up. You get a second entry long right here and a failed second entry short. Uh, there's a lot of sideways action right there, and we don't really, um, you don't, you, you get a, a fairly bullish bar, but you're still inside this negative bar. So I think, you, although you could take that one, it does fit our rules. I think you're better off to wait and see if it, you, you get another push lower that fails, and you get that right here. So I like going long then. And then notice um, you get another double test right here of this plus it confirms this trend line bullish bar so i like going long again there and you did make a new low there notice it's lower than that double top or that double bottom right there and then uh, you get a push lower and then you get a double test of that a second uh, you really could treat you really had a failed second entry short here but that's all still one move so i really you really want to see it try to go lower again and this is what i would call your real failed second entry short that's a really big bar but uh i still like going long right there and you might have considered that one i you know i'm willing to give it a green because it does confirm this trend line um just make sure you got enough room to get out before here really i would uh, and that's a concern here too but with that trap i'm willing to take that one and the fact that it's off the key entry point. Really, either one of those you probably could take. This one's uh, a little more suspect, so you're better off to wait because officially that's all, even though there's a higher low here, and that's a you could treat that, notice a new low, and you get a first entry, and then you get a higher low and a second entry, but you don't make another push 
a separate push higher until here. So now when you come back down, it is it officially fits a failed second entry short. So it's a little better setup here than right here for the reasons I just explained. I hope that's clear. Uh, but again, notice you got a higher low here than this low. So that's considered another break lower, but you never made another break higher until here and then the new low. So that's, I want to see that break higher generally to, for your better setup. So I hope that makes sense. But that got us, uh, that took us into the two o'clock hour. Uh, if this would have been a little better setup, I wouldn't mind going long right here. Uh, you might have considered this one as well. Notice that um, you get a first entry and then a second entry. Um, but it's not a perfect signal bar. There is, again, I think you'd better be better off to wait. And you do get that failed push lower here. So but this is right in the 2 o'clock hour. So I think you're better off just to skip all that. And, um, and you know, you, you might have had a runner going here. I doubt it unless you tried to enter on a limit. And you still would have got stopped out based on the way it's set up on my chart. So unless it's set up a little different, you're probably out of that trade. And so not a lot of trades today. Pretty flat day, but it was really relatively straightforward all the same. So not a difficult day. Um, not a nice, easy trend day, really, but uh, the bias was really down until right about here, and that's when it changed, and from that point on, the bias was up. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. Hope you had a good trading day. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, but we'll be back for tomorrow to do it again on Tuesday. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.